Hi, my name is David and today I'm going to show you my PC game collection. As you can see I have quite a large collection. In total there are 1075 games. Yes, I have counted them and you can see a full list of all the games in the credits at the end of this video. My favourite game genres are first person shooters and real time strategy. I also prefer a science fiction setting over fantasy. Before you stop watching this video, I would like to say that I do have other types of games in my collection. I have 175 first person shooters, 151 adventure games, 146 real time strategy games, 117 role playing games, and 96 racing games. They are the five main game genres I am into. I don't tend to keep up with the latest game releases. I'm more into old school games from the 90s, particularly the second half of the 90s. I got my first PC back in 1997 and I spent a lot of time as a teenager playing games. I have around 500 PC games from the 90s and around 450 PC games from the noughties. These are the two decades uh, that I concentrate on. Uh, for me the best year for PC games was 1999. I can get the majority of these games working on my computer through emulators and virtual machine software. Here are some uh, examples of the software I use to get these old games working on my PC. DOSBox Microsoft Virtual PC VMware and VirtualBox. That's an overview of my PC game collection. Let's take a close look at the specific games. I'm only going to focus on some of my favourite games and talk about them, otherwise this will be a very long video. Hopefully everyone will be able to find at least one game that they like. The PC games are in alphabetical order and grouped together by box type. So you've got the big box games along the top, uh, DVD case games along here, and you've got the jewel case games here. Here are my uh, big box PC games. I enjoyed playing a lot of Bitmap Brother games um, in the early 90s. Chaos Engine, um, Gods and um, Xenon 2, which is, I think late, 90, late 80s that game was. I'm hoping to get some more Command and Conquer big box games uh, such as Red Alert Earth 2150 it's a good real time strategy game I like the weather effects in that game and the day and night cycle Gene Wars is a lesser well-known RTS game. Killing Time um, is a less well-known first-person shooter game from about mid-90s. Magic and Mayhem was a nice blend between um, RTS and a RPG. Pharaoh was city building type game I remember reading up about Reunion um, and I was very excited about that game coming out
It wasn't until years later that I actually managed to get hold of it. Here are my DVD case games. Got most of the Age of Empire games. I love them. Amnesia the Dark Descent is supposed to be one of the most frightening games on the PC. Armor series, tactical shooter. Assassin's Creed is more of a stealth type game. Battlefield series, the multiplayer first person shooters. Like the Bioshock series. And Call of Duty series I like. All the Colin McRae Rally games. And the Dirt games. Command and Conquer series. I got the um, first Command and Conquer game with my uh, first PC. That was the first PC game that I got. Crisis series. Deus Ex series. Deus Ex is one of my favourite games. Love the Doom games. Fear series and Fallout series. Theft Auto games I like. Half Life series, Halo. I like the home world, home world games because it introduced um, a 3D plane uh, rather than playing on 2D. And, had 3D maps. I like the Max Payne games for person shooters. Bullet time was a a good idea. I think they took that from the Matrix. Some flight sim games. Got the Mist series. Complete collection there. All five games. Need for Speed series. Got the majority of the games for that. Operation Flashpoint. My favourite tactical shooter. Portal games. I really love them. If you want something different from your usual first person shooter then give that a try. Quake series. Rise of Nations, another good RTS game. Like the Serious Sand games. The 
and we've got SimCity games and The Sims games. If you like Grand Theft Auto, then I would recommend Sleeping Dogs, similar sort of sandbox game. Got a load of Star Trek games and Star Wars. I really like the Jedi Knight uh, Dark Forces 2, I think that's one of my favourite Star Wars games. Starcraft series, I love them. You had to wait uh, 12 years for this sequel to come out to the original game. Got the Supreme Commander games, um, they were the, the, the spiritual successor to Total Annihilation. Small tactical shooters and the SWAT series. I love the stealth games, um, Thief series. The Unreal series. I like the Warcraft games. And my DVD case games, dual case games now. I enjoy, I'm not really into simulations, but I found uh, Conflict Free Space uh, a very good game. And Conquest Frontier Wars, another very good RTS game. Like the idea of the wormholes, Lincoln maps. June 2, one of my favourite games of all time. Then you got the Earth series. It's more Half Life games. Got the Posing Force um, expansion and Blue Shift expansion. number of uh, RPG games from Westwood Studios, Lands of Lore and Legend of Corandia. Got the Myth games, um, which were real-time tactics. Enjoyed uh, Space Crusade. System Shock 2, I like that game. It's a good mix of FPS and RPG. Total Annihilation, one of my favourite RTS games of all time. UFO Enemy Unknown, another old time favourite. I don't particularly like turn-based games, but uh, that really got me hooked. Got the Karafi Saga, which is first three Wing Commander games. Got a number of game guides here. Might do a separate video for them. Number of game magazines, mostly from the 90s. Small game guides, and some RPG collections there. I think I'll definitely do a separate video for those. So I've got the Forgotten Realms, RPG Ultimate Archives, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Ultimate Dungeon Dragons, 
Wizardry Archives, Ultimate Collection. Now let's look at my uh, CD only collection. Plus some of the, some of the discs from the big box games. Bowler's Gate there. Deus Ex. Forbes Corporate Wire. Not particularly good first person shooter. Night Long, adventure game by Team 17. No One Lives Forever, very good FPS game. this video please leave your comments below and now I'm going to show you the credits which will list every game in my collection so if you didn't catch all the titles whatsoever then you can see them in the credits which will follow now. <laughs>